All right, guys. So, update on RX-7. Obviously, sorry for the late post, late update, but I am back with more updates. Just updates, basically, of the RX-7. So, my fans motor are gone, as you can see. This one's really rusted. And this one right here is gone. That's my major rust spot. That right there is my power steering leaking. And I'm, main concern is this. But I know my turbo are blown. So here's my rear memo in the cooler. And look at that, nasty. I might clean it up tomorrow. Right now my main concern is to take off these motors because i got new motors for it so I'll be all right back. so i made a mess but this is the fan look at that that's the fan that would have this would have gone this is why i had a cooling problem i only hear that no 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 not good so yeah I made a big mess. I don't, I didn't have a bucket underneath. I didn't have that. But to look around, I guess that's the only major spot, the crossbar. And this concerns me, this pinch right here. It's not really a big pinch, but still it's like, come on now. I thought you guys are better Japanese. Japan, Kipa so. But yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like touching it, but definitely, yeah. But now I figure out, I don't think I have an oil leak. I think it's just my power steering coming down. But I still have to clean all that up. But yeah, this is my inner cooler. I believe it's a Koyo because it's full of aluminum. It's full of aluminum. So that's why I think it's a Koyo. But I can say it without even looking at it because the other side's painted so I don't know so kind of jiggy rigged it it's coolant in there still you know uh, I might have to get new hoses that's a must and so far all uh, this out I believe I might just put it back on today so now I know how big of an intercooler I need so I might do front as a V mount, same thing. Keep that as that. Cause I'm putting RX8 motors and fans in, so it doesn't really matter. I might I might have to relocate the battery. I have to though. To be honest, like all this amount of space, it's better if I just relocate it. So like these twin turbos are gone. Air air pump needs to go. This tube needs to go. I have a general idea now after I took all that cooling fans off. Of what to do okay now i have to take out the fans and then the motor as well and then put the new motor which i have here and the new fans i got in there okay so i got one motor out i'm gonna explain what to do it's literally one eight for the fan and then there's a washer underneath take out and then there's three that holds it in place to the shroud so just do the same thing as he's do the same thing here and that's it uh damn so this was a struggle i had to use a small pair of pry bar and hit it out that was a struggle on that side but i finally took it out i only got to take out the motor and then get the other fans so got some bad news one of the screws broke off i'm stressed because i have to look for one now i don't want to leave it with two because it's meant for three you know all right so i cut off the wires now I'll get the, if you want to know, this is the part number for the RX-8 motors. All right, let me try to do this one hand so I can open it for you guys. Get my 
scissors. And so the only reason why this works with the RX-7 motor is because if you get from, I believe, 2005 to 11, it only has two wires. But if you get from 2009 to 11, it has four, which works. Same color and everything. See, blue, green, black, yellow. I believe this one right here. See, yellow, blue, green. So it has four wires, and this has four wires. But remember, this is from a 2009 to 2011 RX-8. So now I got them separated. I got to splice these and put some butt connectors and heat shrink. So I got to cut this plug right here, cut it here, connect it to that. Butt plug it, heat shrink it, and then wrap it up with electric tape and put it back on the shroud. All right, so I finished what, well, not really finished, but I'm gonna let it focus. So I got all the colors matching. So I got yellow with yellow, green with green, was light green with green, black with black, blue with blue. And that's what, with the FD plug, remember? Where's the, this is the old plug of the, 2009 2011 arc 8 plug remember you have to use your fd obviously and color match now i have to do the same on the other this other motor all right just finished the second motor here it is what i just noticed is that it sits lower so I'm guessing that's for better cooling. I'm guessing that's for better cooling. But now I gotta put the fans on and then install it tomorrow because outside's raining and it's Florida. No, it's carbon, so it's never 100%, unless you get really lucky. So right now, I mean, fitment issues here, like even here, if I pull this more back, this goes up, see? So right now I'm having fitment issues. So I don't know if it's the antenna or this is just the carbon itself. I believe it's just the carbon. Yeah, just cut it a little bit. But I believe I just better if a body shop does this. So I don't know yet. But this is how it looks with the wing. And well it's called roof visor and the wing. It looks good, looks good, looks good. To me it looks good. That's why I bought it. I got more stuff coming in, so soon, little by little. All right, so as of right now, I'm still having fitment issues. It's only on this side. See how much carbon I have left. That's just me pushing it. I'm gonna take the blue tape aside and then try to fit it. as of right there and that's the body line so i'm gonna try to tape it I'll be back so yes sir i know the train's passing hopefully you guys can hear me but that's how i was looking at right now 
Look at that, look at that. The same weave carbon. Well, not really. My bad, my bad. I thought it was the same. <laughs> but it still looks beautiful. See that antenna? It's getting in my way. But so far, it's still looking good. I might not put it on this year. I hopefully, I feel like I'm Tuesday, I believe. I'm gonna try to go to a body shop and see what they say. Cause, as you can see from few, before videos, my paint. I washed my car and more. You can see, even see it here. It's peeling off. Like it's bad paint. Like, God damn. So it looks like they had the issue before with the gas cap. And they just painted over it. Hopefully it doesn't go underneath here because you have to take off the whole carbon from underneath. I'm gonna be pissed and that's more labor. But yeah, I'm gonna take it to a shop. I might have to get the side skirt painted again too. And there's the side vents, same body kit. So uh, yeah, trying to get the body line correct. And this fiberglass, I hate it. It's expensive bumper and I'm having cracks, which sucks. I'm gonna see if there's any way I can get this in polyurethane somehow. And I have to get this carbon vent fixed. But as of right now, this is a work in progress. So my manifold's coming in, turbo manifold's coming in Monday. I'm gonna show you guys that in the next video. All right, so I'm done with both sides. Only thing is, I need to find a bolt for this one right here. So I can hold it, so, cause it still moves. I know you can't see it on video, but it definitely moves. Or I might just zip tie it, but I don't think I want to zip tie this, but never know. If I can't find it, I'll just zip, zip tie it. But that's it for this part. So I'm gonna make this into a two part series. As you can see, and the plugs, the plugs go right there. So I'm making this two-part series. So like and subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys will learn something from this as well. And always do your maintenance, guys. Yeah. <laughs>